Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about collections in Postman. Now, we have understood about all the basic requests or basic methods that we'll be using very frequently. So get, post, put, path, delete. And here at the top, you'll see that we have opened different tabs in Postman. And this is small red or basically the orange uh, icon is shown on all of these requests that we have opened, the tabs that we have opened. If we try to simply close this, okay, you will see that you will get an option do you want to save okay and this orange dot basically shows that yes we have done some changes here on the tab and on in the request but we haven't changed or we haven't saved any of this so if you want to go ahead and save you can quickly go ahead and click on save changes if you want to discard you can go ahead and don't save and discard okay now what exactly will happen or what is collection basically so if you click on say for example i want to save it then you will see that you can save it to a collection slash folder right so what exactly is collection so collection is something or you can say consider it as a folder within postman that will help you to create or group your request that you are using in your testing in a common folder right so a related request all the related requests in a collection or a folder and then which will help you to make them easier to access and run and there are a lot of other benefits as well let me cancel this and close this okay so it is still open and if you in the left hand side if i simply expand this you will see that this is the collections tab here right the collections section so if i click on the collection section here you will see a collection lets you to gr group related request okay and i can create collection from here itself so if i click on create collection a new collection gets created and then i can rename that collection okay so here you will see that name is new collection i can say this is regress okay whatever name i want to specify and then simply click somewhere and you will see that uh, it has been selected it has been saved here right now because i have the collection now ready i can add all the requests so whatever request i want to save within this collection which are related which i think are related for this particular request api i can go ahead and store those within this particular collection so now if i go to these apis that were there okay i can click on save here to save these okay click on save and then select the collection that we have created which is request and then click on save okay and now you will see this particular delete request that we have saved is appearing here below this request collection right because this is related to the request api and that is being saved here and you will see that the orange dot that was shown here on this request has gone so i can simply now go ahead and close it and the request will still be there okay i can close this collection as well the tab for the collection and let me save all of the others as well in the same collection. So if we click on save, patch has been saved, I'll close it. I'll save the put as well. I've saved post, close the post one and save the get request. So now you will see all of these requests have been saved within this collection request that we have created, which is basically a folder within Postman to structurally organize our request that we are going to use. Okay. Now you have to run this get request again. I simply, you know, uh, click on that get request. It will open and then I can simply go ahead and click on send. So all of the information that was there has already been saved and it is basically available here within the collection now what are other advantages of using collection so because these are all related say for example all of these apis there is a common authentication that is involved right so i can go ahead at the collection level and i can simply select the authentication that is required in order to execute these APIs. For example, all of these require a bearer token, okay? Or a bearer token is required basically. So I can set that up for the, at, at the collection level, right? So at the moment it's say for example, no auth. And then if there are any prerequisite that are required, any tests, right? So all of these details um, can be executed, can be set up at the collection level. So these tests will execute after every request in this collection, right? So if you set up the test, if you set up the prerequisite, the script will execute before every request in this collection. If you set up any test, the test will execute after every request, right? So pre-request, 
will execute before every request then test will execute after every you know uh, request in the collection so this is basically the advantage of having the collection authentication your pre-request your uh, test your variables variables is very very common so in variables say for example there are a lot of variables that are you you are going to use in this collection that you can set the variables at the collection level and use them in your collection for all of the requests and we'll cover all of this in very detail the variable different variable levels and the hierarchy the scope of variables in postman separately okay so this is briefly about the collections within postman and how you are going to save the requests within collections so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching